Hey, y'all, check this out, though. We got merch now. We got a link in the description. Y'all can check it out. We got, like, uh, I don't even know, 30 different designs. Just go check it out. If y'all want to support, just buy one. You can come back here and show them, so, you know, let show them where the batteries at and all that shit. I'm going to get a wrench. <coughs> There it is. I'm assuming we're showing you the battery because we have to disconnect that since we're working with the PCM. This will save you from frying the PCM. Yeah, you got to disconnect It'll your battery. It'll save you from frying it, says the expert. Yeah, well, this this car is no longer under warranty on basic powertrain, yes. He's what we call a car scientist. They call me a car doctor. A car doctor? Yeah. You can call me wherever you want, though. I like Big Daddy. Uh, well, you can <laughs> keep on dreaming, buddy. <laughs> All right, so we got your fuel line here that goes into your rail. We're gonna go ahead and take this connector loose and get it out of here. Have we already talked about what we're doing? No. I'm it's sure. in the description. Yeah. It's in the description. It'll be in the title. <laughs> All right, for those of y'all tuning in, we are putting an E85 flex fuel sensor on a 2018 ZL1 Camaro. Is this universal, kind of like that cold air intake for the rest of the ZL1s? Is it the same? Uh, well, this is a DSX kit. There's several different kits out there. And the only reason I went with this one versus any other one is because I had it on my last car. The last two cars. So it's good. The one I bought a few was a DSX, wasn't it? Yes. Okay. The last two I had was a DSX. So, for anybody that doesn't know how to use one of these, this is a fuel line disconnect. I'm going to slide this under there get it underneath that quick connector right there you're gonna press up on this while pressing down on the fuel line and pull and the fuel line will come out so spray fuel everywhere I didn't I didn't believe the system <laughs> <laughs> oh and it's hot too yeah maybe we'll catch on fire it ain't hot enough to catch on fire gas yeah, has to be hot All right, here it comes. I'm gonna try to... That does have a lot of pressure, doesn't it? Yep. All right. I don't see any way to really hide this bitch. It's gonna go have to go on top of that. That's gonna be. Yeah, it's yeah this is gonna be on your on top of your oh, uh, no. valve so, cover. It's gonna look like shit. <sighs> Damn it! It's the only spot too. I really want to go in there. So what are you doing right now? I'm trying to connect the fuel line, but it's not really wanting to go on that. What are you putting on? A flex fuel sensor. It's not really wanting to connect to that for some odd reason. Actually, there's there no goes. extra O-ring in there. There is. Well, the right one. But... All right, so. Nice. Looks just like that forever. Yeah, I don't really like that. <laughs> I wish there was a way to hide that shit. It's all right. There's not any way, though. It's all right. I wish there was a way to tap into it back there. Just put it back behind it. There it is. It's installed. Video, <laughs> video over. <laughs> That's the sensor is installed. Yeah. The yeah. sensor is installed, yeah. but we have to. This kit will get power ground from the uh, cool pack, and then I have to run one wire over to the PCM. And try to hide it the best I can on the way over there because I don't really want it to be any more of an eyesore than that right there. God dang. This is a huge power gain for this car as well. Yes, it is. Boosted. Like, right. what would you say? 120 horsepower? Total gain? With a tune? Uh, oh, he's getting a pulley too, so well, he's going to pick up a lot. Oh, 150 horsepower? <laughs> Just going from 93 to 85, I think it's a 30 to like 50 horse gain rear wheel. But with Instant, your pulley, just changing from fuel. Yeah, with your pulley, with it's gonna pulley, be ridiculous. With pulley, I have to get a fuel system or a meth kit, which will, you know, obviously I'm gonna get a meth kit, just because it goes into the washer tank. It's a lot cheaper. Yeah. Pull the fender off. <laughs> meth kit's like 600 bucks. How much is a fuel system? <laughs> a lot. <laughs> a lot more than that. <laughs> All right, so I got my cold pack loose. The intake is huge. Yeah, they make the one that's even bigger too. They have what's, what they call the uh, Big Gulp, and it's a 5-inch tube. And I, 
Oh, you should have got the big gulp. That matches you per uh, perfectly. <laughs> sure, so funny. Well, it um, uh, it um, Ben says it, it will throw the mass air reading off. And it wouldn't run right. So you're just plugging in a little plug that it came with. Yep. Well, that's pretty cool. So basically, I'm gonna tap in right here with this one click and it's in and we're going to take this and plug it back in there where the cool pack was and now we have even more of a fucking house for <laughs> maybe I can find some way maybe I can hide some of that underneath that valve cover that huh? looks like shit I know I wonder if I can hide it under the valve cover at least the harness part and this is going to go to the computer? Yes. This little skinny wire here. Yes. Is right. that like bare wire? No. Look how small it is. It's coated. It looks metallic. It's coated. It's very small. Oh. <clears throat> Story of my life. Very small. All right. So I'm just running this wire the best I can to keep it kind of hidden. Just because I don't want my engine way to kind of look like shit. Preference, once again. Yep. You, you can run, run it in the loop. Well, I don't If you weren't lazy. I'm gonna run it in that part of the loom right there. I'm not gonna run it from here to there though. In the loom. All right. So <coughs> now to get to the connector, I need to get to on the PCM. I will remove this fuse box. Not take it out, but move it. There's a can ventilator, and there's four nuts. Most of them are in James's mouth. Bring a racket wrench, so. I got one of the house. I got a bunch of them at work. I just didn't bring one. I didn't figure I'd need it. I didn't look at this before I started on it, and I thought that this was a, all the loads would be easy to get to, which isn't hard. Yeah, I really don't remember how it was on the SS, but it looks very, very similar, if not identical. Did we have to take that fuse box out? No. I don't remember doing that. I did not. It is different, I guess, then. I don't think so. It looks the same. No, wait, nope. I you, took it off from here. I fished it out down underneath there. this, yeah, and then that. it came out just I'm perfect. Just like, yeah. Yeah. It's in the video. I remember you got down there and messed around with it. The directions say to take the fuse box off. So we're doing it. Last <laughs> time I did this, I did not. I'm just going to do it by the boat. Make sure your battery is disconnected though before you take the fuse box off. You don't want to accidentally ground something out. It's out. not going to uh, come loose. Just then pull that one loose and lift it up out of there. Push the red button in the middle. Marty has. Oh, yeah, you did. Come loose or not. You want Papa to get it? No, he's got it. There she goes. Oh, I just had to work the mud out of it. Blow on your fingers. Okay. How'd that make you feel? <laughs> Ain't the first time you blew on me. <laughs> Alright, let's see how well this will. Oh, I got plenty of this. Make this look good. So from here, you're just gonna run that wire and you're gonna try to hide it down through here and then come up into here. Yeah, we're gonna take this plug apart and we're gonna put this wire inside of this this housing here. And we'll show you where here in a second. So I got some zip ties. This is just preference here, yeah. what you're doing? Yep, I'm just hiding this wire in some loom. It's not a bad idea if they wanna do it though. No, and this makes it where I also don't have to tuck it and run zip it Zip tie, zip tie, zip tie. Yeah. And I had to have happen to have some laying around, so I'm gonna just run it through this one. All perfect. They can pretty much do whatever they want with that wire yep. as long as it doesn't touch anything hot or anything spinning or moving. Yeah, this is your signal wire for your 
flexural sensor. So it's important. Very important. <laughs> so I'm going to... Which pin this, is it? I'm going to take this... I don't know. I'll have to look here in a second. I don't remember. I'm going to... So you got your this, wire in? Yeah. I'm going to take this back cover off. Make sure to pull the blue cover off too. Yep. I know. I got to do that. There's the back. So I'm going to pull this. But... It's just private. So 53 is this one, and one is this one. So 53 is the bottom one. Let me see. Uh, this should be like the sixth one in, right? It is pin 38. Nice. Yep, it is the sixth one in from 53. So that's so, this one. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's gonna go right here in this blank. Oh, this wasn't identical or anything. <laughs> I'd say that it probably does. Six one down okay. to 53, huh? Yep. No. You go over one, which I don't know where they'll put you at. You have to count backwards. I'm not gonna do all that. What you go down to right here. Six one down. So I'll go straight up from 53 and go over six. And you just pry that off there? Yep. This is scary. Scary? Yeah, look what you're messing with on this car. it would be alright. <laughs> <laughs> I work on expensive shit on the daily. You worked on a few Hellcats and shit, didn't you? Yep. Trackhawks? Not yet. Not a Trackhawk. Huh? Not yet. Of course. So, normally there's a blank in there. Yep, it's on the other side. So, got 53. So, we're going to go down and find on the second row, number six. And it will be that gray blank right there. That one right there. See if I can pull out these snips. I hope we don't snip it off. Or any of the other wire. That would suck. Yep. <laughs> or she is. Definitely use pliers for that and not side cutters. Yeah, we're certified technicians here. <laughs> certified through 1018. No, he is a certified technician. Mm -hmm. I am not, and they know because I make sure to tell them. Okay, so we're going to push this in until it clicks. If it wasn't for Anthony, we, we, we wouldn't know what a torque wrench was. What's a torque wrench? <laughs> Unless we're inside of a motor, then you have to have a torque wrench. Can you get it? Make sure it's facing the right direction too. Yeah, I'm trying. Let me look at it. Yeah, I'll put it in backwards. I want to get it like right here. <laughs> it seems like you get over to the side and he just blocks your viewpoint. No, I can get it. I can see it. Hmm. Not wanting to bite. It has a little, uh, like a, like a little snap in there, and once you push it past it, it'll snap into place, and then it'll keep you from pulling it back out. Yeah, I can't get, it wanted, it wanted to go in the other way. But not this way. If it goes in that way. Well, it's putting it in right the first way. First and you time. just keep pushing it, you'll hear a little, yep. a little tiny click. Yep, so. That new one I just put in right there. If I can straighten it up right here. Yeah, this one here I'll straighten it up. I ain't too worried about it. There she is, boys. Now, having this in your car does not mean you can go straight to the gas station and put E85 in your car. No, you absolutely you have to get must have, to have it turned, and it will actually do nothing until it is turned. Yeah, so it's just hanging out right now. Yeah, it's just hanging out in there. 
Yeah, the, the flex field sensor has to be enabled. And then tune. your tune needs to be turned. It needs to be turned on in your tune. <clears throat> if not, you will blow your shit up. And that is your fault, not mine. <laughs> and I've actually seen a lot of problems, even with the DSX kits. Uh, whenever you go to have it turned on, sometimes it won't read. Just try unplugging it and plugging it back in. It sounds dumb, but I had the exact same problem myself. Unplug it, plug it back in. Yeah, it's like it just doesn't get like a real good connection, and you just have to redo it. It's I like guess. fixing a printer. He's unplugging. Resetting your Wi-Fi. Yeah. <laughs> That's what Ben told me. Even when we were there, he said, hey, just try and plug it and plug it back in. And I looked at him like he was stupid. And then he said, no, just try it. Trust me. I tried it and it worked. They read it from then on. Apparently, you don't have to take these two top bolts all the way off. So we got everything back in place, and that's how you install a flex fuel kit on a 2018 ZL1. That's right.